Madison's Common Council is set to read a resolution to censure District 18 Alder Charles Miadze after a city-funded investigation into alleged misconduct. In a News 3 Now exclusive, Alder Miadze sat down with our Arman Rahman. Arman? Susan, this all stems from allegations of misconduct and inappropriate sexual comments and advances that led to an investigation into whether Miyadze violated the city's prohibited harassment and discrimination policy and or state or federal laws. Now the mayor and 14 alders have introduced a resolution to censure Miyadze and Dane County Board Chair Patrick Miles released a statement today standing in solidarity with the accusers and all survivors. Alder Charles Miadze called me on Sunday, saying the city attorney gave him clearance to share his side. After District 2 Alder Juliana Bennett publicly identified herself to News 3 two weeks ago as one of the three women in the report accusing Miadze of harassment. It was important to me to tell my own story and not have others tell it for me. Bennett alleges Miadze made inappropriate sexual comments towards her while at a conference in 2022 when she was 22 years old. She also claims when she tried sharing what happened with other alders, Miadze found out and confronted her. I was alone in his car and he locked the doors on me and then got in my face and was like yelling at me. Miadze denies that happened and says he confronted Bennett about rumors at a different conference in Green Bay. He claims after that, Bennett would still text him for rides and other conversations. I think my colleagues, I don't blame them. I don't fault them for uh, trying to censor me according to what Bennett has said. Bennett's claims were the only ones the original report claimed the evidence sustained as creating a hostile work environment. I think it's important that my colleagues know that Bennett... Do you feel like that was enough, that was enough that to... Bennett was uh, not truthful, not credible, um, because it was due to the text message that, uh, that us, uh, as you saw, the subsequent uh, report came out. That was a second report by the law firm that came out after Miyadze provided them those text messages. Investigators reversed their conclusion, saying the evidence now did not sustain that Miyadze created a hostile work environment or harassment for any of the accusers. I had a professional relationship with Alder Miyadze and relying so heavily on those written texts didn't take into account the full context of the relationship and the hard, like, the hard thing that I had to balance and that is like continuing to have to face the same person every two weeks on the Common Council. <laughs> Shortly after Bennett went public, yeah. Gloria Reyes, who ran for mayor back in 2022, accused Miadze of being physically and emotionally abusive when they were dating. I asked, but Miadze would not speak much on his relationship with Reyes. So I, I'm not going to speak. Um, I gave all evidence of uh, emails, pictures, um, of everything to to, uh, um, to my attorney. So I'll let him um, deal with that legal uh, um, aspect of it. And these are very, very um, false uh, statements that she's making. Very damaging. On social media, Miyadze's ex-girlfriend Michelle McCoy has supported Reyes and Bennett after she came forward with her own allegations in March. Allegations Miyadze has denied. I was a victim of Charles's for seven and a half years, and I experienced domestic abuse from him. But when it became unhealthy, I moved out um, while she's at work. I can understand the, the pain of that. Miadze believes the calls for resignation and censure are politically motivated. When asked about resigning, he tells me... I will be definitely trying to finish up my term. Now, no action will be taken at tomorrow night's council meeting, only an introduction of the censure resolution. And if it is approved in December, it will be largely symbolic. Miyadze wouldn't be removed from office. Armand, thank you.